Alright, second game uh, from the League of Legends series. Uh, this one, we're going to play uh, Mantheon. Uh, Pantheon in top lane. We're going to be facing off against Irelia. Um, she's annoying. I mean, she does quite a bit of damage here. Um, well, you see a gank coming out from my friend. That's my friend Johnny. He play, He was playing Udyr in this game. Well, he ends up giving up that first blood and double buffs to Irelia, which... Ugh, was annoying, I guess. I mean, yeah, but it's alright because, I mean, I know I can beat her in lane and she doesn't do obscene amounts of damage, especially early game. But see her double buster out there, uh, I knew I could get her, so I went all in and just that last spear uh, critted, you know, because of Pantheon's passive, which allows him to crit on anything below 15% health. Um, and here I took advantage of the opportunity to gank mid. Uh, Lulu didn't come in quite as fast as I wanted her to, but it was fine because we end up going around. Uh, this I forced Annie that way because uh, Udyr was coming, you know, up the river. I saw he was coming up, um, and we just focus her down. Here's another spear for the kill. Uh, Lulu's getting low, so we got to stop. We had to stop that E from killing her. Um, and here I just make sure that she's okay and then head back up to top lane to, you know, face off against Irelia some more. Um, I time spread this up because these games get pretty long and I'm not into, like, you know, uh, uploading these big long ones. I had to flash out there because of that Eve. She just showed up and if I'd have stayed at all, she would have killed me with that red buff. Um, so, you know, I watched her I, and Irelia walk away with, you know, almost no health and it, that was frustrating. Well, there, she was supposed to be backing, so I saw her stop the animation, and I started up my ult immediately. And she, yep, I picked up the, I picked up the free kill right there. So that's, uh, you know, one of the advantages to having a little bit of map awareness, or at least just watching people. Especially uh, Eve, you know, who you'd think she would have backed, but she didn't. All right, here I'm going to try and stack my passive up against this tower, so I take some tower damage there. But there we go, uh... Oh, I gotta get that Q off. And here, you know, I, I have that mastery that allows me to get health and mana every time, you know, I, I kill a champion. So that's what really saved me from the tower. Otherwise, tower is doing some damage here. I go in for a gank on bot. Um, the ADC is not in lane, but Lulu was going down and uh, Thresh was low. I mean, he was, you know, killably low. Um, Quinn trying to get the pickup on, on Leona and, you know, not not getting it. Leona's kind of backing in an odd position here, um, which, you know, Annie wanted to take advantage of, but Lulu's doing some crazy damage, and I saw her, she had her ignite on her already, so I threw the spear, you know, for the crit damage, and she picked up a third kill in that gank, so that's, a, you know, a huge thing. That's why Pantheon's so strong, is you've got to constantly be, you know, willing to man drop in and, and change up the game for your entire team. Um, here I saw the, the whole team was moving bot, so I positioned myself, I looked at the battle, you know, and tried to read where the battle, where it's going to be, you know, where, where, where it's going, you know. So, uh, here I, I should have just backed out, but, um, you know, and then I wouldn't have had to take all that tower damage, and, but it's fine, I didn't die or anything, so right now I'm 506, which is huge, but here we are again in a situation where... Lulu and I are able to, you know, do the things for our team that need to be done. Um, oh, and, yeah, this is frustrating. We should have left. I mean, yeah, it, we had them low. And right there, that Annie was dead, but she dropped that Tibbers on me and killed me. Or, you know, uh, stunned me out of my Heartseeker. And, and Thresh picks up a double. Um, which is fine. Again, it's fine. We're we're up 18 to 10 right now. Um, I've got six kills. Oh, I just died again there in mid. That was my own fault. That was just a bunch of stupidity. So I backed out and just went back to farming. Here is uh, again one of those positions where you know Pantheon is really good at. You know, we went in, I drew a ton of damage with my ult. And just split their team. They're so focused on trying to get out of my ult to avoid that damage that, you know, my team is able just to lay huge, huge amounts of damage on. Um, and we pick up the Baron buff. 
with you know no contest contesting from the enemy team <clears throat> and here Irelia was getting away she was you know trying to suicide back at this tower and I wasn't about to let that happen you know so um, my cue didn't go off there that's frustrating it's fine oh there she borked and we get the heart seeker kill there so free free heart seeker uh, I shouldn't have been that close to the Sunfire, my Sunfire. I think, yeah, aggroed on off of that Thresh, so it's fine. We do tons of damage, and the CC that these two characters bring to any fight is needs to be. Needs to be. Oh, there's a triple kill. I love, you know, I love getting kills with the with the stun. That Aegis of Zonia, that's some good stuff. Uh, yep, so that's a game there. They surrendered 4-1. Uh, thanks for watching. And give a shout-out to my friend Johnny. Take it easy. Victory.